Over the past eight months, relations between North Korea and Russia have begun to develop so rapidly that many political scientists have been forced to recognize the uniqueness and unprecedented nature of this case. Over these months, Moscow and Pyongyang have become closer on many issues and have begun to act as real allies. Moreover, such a high level of trust and warm relations between the countries has not been observed for 40 years. High-level bilateral meetings have become commonplace for the two states. The fact that Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu was invited to the celebrations of the anniversary of the end of the Korean War speaks of the high trust and respect for Russia on the part of the leadership of North Korea. Moreover, at the moment, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is in North Korea on an official visit. According to Sergei Lavrov, he came to Pyongyang to discuss all the agreements that were reached between Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un during the state visit of the leader of North Korea to Russia. My friends, the visit of such a high-ranking Russian official to North Korea indicates that Moscow has begun to prepare a process that will weaken and even lift some sanctions against North Korea. Moreover, Russia and China have already begun to make attempts to ease Western sanctions against North Korea. However, the United States is constantly blocking this initiative in the United Nations Security Council. Thus, the United States makes it clear that Washington is not going to give up without a fight and will continue to strangle with its sanctions not only North Korea, but also many other countries, including Palestine. Despite being deprived of the status of a hegemon, Washington continues to hinder the normal economic development of many countries that refuse to support the so-called Western values. However, the gradual transition of mankind to a multipolar world will finally deprive the United States of all these levers of pressure. And that is why Russia and China have already begun to prepare North Korea for entry into the international arena. Meanwhile, the American media raised hysteria about the shipment of the most important types of weapons from North Korea to Russia. In particular, the American media claimed that North Korea has supplied Russia with a huge number of self-propelled artillery systems and howitzers. At the same time, numerous satellite images were presented as evidence. Later, John Kirby also confirmed this fact. According to him, within one month, North Korea delivered more than 1,000 containers of weapons to Russia. Meanwhile, journalist and military expert, Alexei Zivov, said that the United States grossly miscalculated its desire to arm Ukraine against Russia. According to him, this conflict not only proved the uselessness of Western weapons, but also gave impetus to the strengthening of North Korea's military potential. Now, Russia has not only moved part of its ammunition factories to North Korea, but will also help Pyongyang build nuclear submarines and open doors into space. All these years, the United States constrained the economic development of North Korea, which did not allow Pyongyang to develop its own high technologies. However, thanks to Russia, North Korea will finally reach a new level of development. Moreover, military expert Alexei Zivov also noted the latest ballistic missiles of North Korea, which were also sent to the Ukrainian front. According to him, these are super missiles of special power. 
The conventional warheads of these missiles are the same size as the Russian smart bomb Fab 5000. And the power of this warhead of a similar capacity to a tactical nuclear weapon. According to the expert, the United States and the Western coalition have made tactical errors in this Ukrainian conflict. Washington not only failed to inflict a strategic defeat on Russia, but at the same time, the United States got an even bigger problem in the form of a technologically advanced North Korea, which over time, will become an integral part of the geopolitical arena.